Hi, this is Dr. Cook, your Chem 240 instructor. Let's take a look at the next video. In Chapter 12, we're going to talk about the functional group aldehydes and ketones. Aldehydes and ketones are a member of the carbonyl class of compounds. That is, a molecule which contains a carbon-oxygen double bond. There are many types of carbonyl compounds, and aldehydes and ketones fall into this class. We define an aldehyde as a molecule which contains a carbon-oxygen double bond where it's attached to at least one hydrogen here. Uh, the other side could be hydrogen or carbon. A ketone is a carbonyl compound with a CO double bond that has no hydrogens directly attached and it's attached to two different carbons. And these have very similar reactivities. Um, the ketones are slightly less reactive towards nucleophilic addition because of the larger sized groups around the carbonyl carbon. There are other kinds of carbonyl compounds which we're going to talk about in the following chapters and those are the carboxylic acids and derivatives. These are different than aldehydes and ketones because they have in addition to the CO double bond we have an, another atom which is not carbon or hydrogen which is more electronegative than carbon such as the OH group. This is a carboxylic acid. If that's a halogen we refer to that as an acid halide. If it's an O alkyl group, we refer to that as an ester or a sulfur, a thioester. Um, nitrogen compounds are amides. Acetic anhydride, acid anhydrides have another acid group. And they can even have more than one of those groups. So carbonic acid has two OH groups. Urea is, has two NH2 groups. We're going to talk about these class of carboxylic acids and their derivatives in the next chapters. When we name aldehydes and ketones, we simply drop the E ending and replace it with al for an aldehyde or on for a ketone. Here are some examples on this slide to explain. So the simplest of all aldehyde compounds is the one carbon group where there are two hydrogens. This has a IUPAC name of methanal, a much more common name of formaldehyde formaldehyde you've probably heard of as a, a fixing agent for preserving tissues because this tends to cross-link proteins and make them stable and not degrade. But methanal is the IUPAC name. Notice we've dropped the E off of the methane and added AL to indicate it's an aldehyde. And again aldehydes have to be at the end of a chain so that there's at least one hydrogen. If it's a two carbon molecule this is ethanal. Again drop the E Add the AL ending to ethane and you get ethanal. The benzene molecule, we've seen this in the aromatic chapter, is referred to as benzaldehyde. In some rare occasions this can be called a carbaldehyde group, so benzene carbaldehyde is a common name for this molecule. Um, if there's a double bond you have to give the ene for a double bond, so without the carbonyl oxygen this would be propene. Uh, with the aldehyde present we would refer to this as propenal propenal. So all of these are examples of aldehydes on the first row here. You can see the similar kind of naming with ketones. So in this case we have a three carbon group which would be propane and since there's a carbonyl on the middle carbon it's propanone. Since the O-N-E refers to the ketone and if the double bond were oxygen were on either end it would be an aldehyde, it would be a different molecule called propanal, we don't have to give a number. However, if there are multiple possibilities for where that carbonyl group could be, then we have to give it a number. So for example, this molecule, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, this is uh, trans hex 4 en 2 own, and the 2 own refers to the carbonyl group being on the number 2 carbon. Here's also a diketone, so we use the word dion to refer to two ketone groups and it's on the two and four carbons of pentane, so this is 2,4-pentane uh, dione. Some common names such as acetophenone, benzophenone, we see this a lot again with aromatic compounds often. Well if we want to use carbonyl compounds as substituents on a larger molecule, we can use the acyl group to refer to the carbonyl and whatever else is attached. So if it's a hydrogen attached here, this is a formyl group. Um, if it's a two carbon group, it's an acetyl group, benzoyl, for example. And if we want to use just the oxygen as a substituent, where we have, oops, sorry, that's a typo, that should be hexanoate. If we have methyl hexanoate, which is this parent molecule here, on the number three carbon, there's a carbonyl compound. We refer to that oxygen substituent as an oxo group, an oxo group. Notice that oxo does not include the carbon itself because the carbon is part of the parent hexane 
0.08 molecule. 